Strawberry Shortcake, go! Good morning all of my lovely YouTube people. I hope you're all doing good today. It is the Friday of the Forgotten Angels Campout and we're going on the first official organized ride of the campout. It's a breakfast ride. Uh, so we're going to go get some breakfast, have something to eat, and uh, go for a little bit of a ride afterwards, I guess. And um, yeah, get to check out Florida just a little bit more. Other than the little ride I did yesterday to the gas station for breakfast, I haven't gone on any other rides. But uh, yeah, this is the first real ride with uh, everybody, well, with a bunch of people, and I'm pretty excited to go eat and have some tea. I've not had any tea yet today. It's going to be a good day. Like yesterday was a good day it's gonna be probably even a better day well hopefully everybody stays safe on this ride alrighty morning ride is like the best kind of ride. Actually, any ride is the best kind of ride. Am I right? But I have to tell you guys something though. I am loving Florida. I absolutely love I love it here. I knew before I even stepped off that airplane I was going to love it. Like, just listening to the people around here talk like, everyone is so welcoming guys. Like, I just feel right at home. I don't feel like I'm a stranger at all. It's so beautiful here. Everything's so green. Like, other than the humidity, <laughs> I could I could go without the humidity, but it's all right because it's just so beautiful here and everyone is just so genuine. I love Americans. For a long time, actually, I've always been really intrigued with just like the southern states, like the culture, I guess you could say. And I've just always kind of wanted to like experience like southern hospitality because I've kind of heard it's a thing and it's definitely a thing. Like everyone here is just so nice. your guys' style. Everything from the foil to the Second Amendment. It's like, man, I love it here. <laughs> I miss the mountains, though. I definitely miss the mountains. I need 
to say it again. I gotta thank you, Dave, for making it possible for me to come here because I would not be doing this right now if it weren't for you. And I gotta thank Rainy Rider because Rainy Rider's really just taking care of me. Just made sure I've had a tent and everything and picked me up from the airport. Man, I'm like, guy like lost sleep to come and get me from the airport at like one in the morning. And, um, yeah, so it's been pretty good, man. And then uh, my viewers, Tony, actually lent me his tent too because he's not needing it. So I got a, I got a tent and an in-law suite. <laughs> the little tent that Rainy hooked me up with is my fun and my in-law suite. Needless to say, I am not enjoying myself. Like, just absolutely enjoying myself, man. It's so beautiful here. I don't know how that car got in between, in the middle of the group, but it did. I'm meeting so many people too. I met Shade Tree Surgeon last night. And show Lisi. And everyone else is just great. I feel like the mentality of people here is different. But I don't really, I can't really put my finger on what it is. Everyone's more straightforward. Which is a good thing. I appreciate the straightforwardness. Because it means that people are real. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, and actually there's people from all over the place. I think I'm the only, like, a Canadian, though. I'm the only officially, like, still living in Canada Canadian. But the one organizer is, um, well, David from Forgotten Angels. He's from Canada. Breakfast, I can't wait. See if I can back this thing up. Might be alright. Might need a push. <laughs> Once I get it lined up. Yeah. There you go. You're doing it all on this guy. Okay. Like tippy toe in it. Tippy toe. Just had breakfast at the scrambled egg, and man, I was so hungry, I like just wolfed it right down. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back to the campsite. I think I'm gonna ride back with Rainy Rider and a couple other people. I think some of the other guys are going on a longer ride, and it's getting kind of hot for someone like me who doesn't have any sunscreen with her. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the campsite and. Uh, See what's going on there. So I'm just gonna wait for everyone to get all saddled up and then we're gonna just head back to the campsite. See what's happening. I feel way better after the shower. People are just rolling in continuously. There's a lot of bikes here. I'm gonna go check out bikes, but right now they want everybody to go to the stage. So that's where we're all headed. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit and then uh, I'll be back with you guys in a minute. The camp out is, is, is just a very small part of our thank you back to you guys for, you know, the ability to support our young men with motorcycles, driver's license, cars, jobs, education, opportunity. <clears throat> And the most important thing that we can provide them with with your support is hope. Because of you guys, we have been very successful at getting kids from A, not just to B and to C, but to X, Y, and Z to where they are sustaining themselves. And it's all because of you guys. And so on behalf of leadership, we want to thank you guys. Every time we do this, I meet a hundred new friends, and I see a lot of old friends, and no one should ever leave here without knowing somebody new. We've all come together, and we have made a difference. And you can change the world, and you might not be able to fix it, but you can affect change while you're alive. And you gotta do something with your life. This seems as good as anything. Everyone should feel good about what they're doing, and together we can do a lot, and it feels pretty damn good. And then in between now and then, we'll have some beers, we'll have some fun, it will be bad people doing good things. Well, that's that, guys. I think it's really awesome what these guys are doing here. It's been a great time so far. Right now, I want to go walk around and check out some bikes. Pedro. So you have a shop? Yes. So you do work? Yeah. Yes. And what did you do to this? I bought this as an existing project that the customer couldn't get it to run and it was missing a lot of parts. And I pretty much gave it my touch and made it run perfect. So it has uh, the base of what it would be a shovel head, but it has an Evo motor. Right. It's a four speed ratchet top transmission. Okay. Kick start only. Yeah. Magneto, which makes a huge difference. Yeah, that really helps with kicking it. And it's a stroker. Is there a stroker? Is I like have no idea what's bit? going on with this motor. I'm going no? to be honest. I own a shop, but like I only fix things when they need fixing, and I haven't cracked into this motor because oh, it's okay. running so good. Right. So it was already all opened up like this and yes. everything. Like what I did, I put, I built those mid controls out of Sportster mid controls. Okay. Yeah. So I made it work yeah. like that. Yeah. And um, I put the shifter. Everything works good. I made the rear brake work. I put the Springer front end. It's an original Harley Springer front end from nineties. Yeah, 80s, 90s, okay. so it's a late model front end. Yeah. It has the shock in there, so it's a tell. It yeah. tells immediately that's a model. Yeah. Put some new wheels, tires, made the brakes actually work because it didn't have brakes, not front or rear. Oh, really? Yeah. None at all? No. Jeez. And um, yeah, serviced it. And is it yours now? It's mine, yeah. Yeah, nice. How do you like it? It's it's a fun bike. It's a nice bar hopper. Yeah. Not a long distance bike. No. The setup not is not there like yet. Go check out Wanderer Customs, guys. Pretty sure that's my favorite bike here. <laughs> it's so cool. I just love the people that I meet at these places. Hi, guys. Look what What's I up? found. Cute little biker babe. Hi, everybody. <laughs> she managed to find me. Yeah. I was like standing right next to her last night and I was like, man, her voice sounds so familiar. And then I was like, wait a second. She looks way taller on the camera. <laughs> like, everyone tells short. me that the, that the camera makes me look taller. It's everyone who I've met. Yeah. We are massive women. <laughs> Baker Bay Beth is like so sweet. Absolutely just as sweet in person as she is on her videos. Yeah, guys, we're just gonna hang out and have some fun and just see what's going on. And right now, it's slow races is going on. <laughs> Why did I put this black shirt on? What's your YouTube channel? 
Oh, um, I'm 7th Central. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meeting viewers, having sips. Who the heck is this over here? So she is filming me while I'm filming her. This is uh, who is known as Little Red Rider on YouTube Lamp. Hi. British Columbia, Canada. So tell the people what you do. Just whatever I'm doing, yeah. I do. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. Oh. Tickers for you guys. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So much going on around here. It's like everything's happening all the time. Gotta be able to like multi, triple, quadruple task. Oh, hey. <laughs> Still people piling in. <laughs> Just pouring in. Well guys, another day in paradise. It's a Saturday. And this is like the last organized day of the camp out. I'm pretty sad to be thinking that it's gonna be over. I'm a little even more sad to be thinking that I'm gonna be going back to cold weather. I'm so thankful that I got a chance to come here. I'm just like trying to go with the flow and just soak it all in as much as I can, especially because it is like the last day of this whole event. Tomorrow is the day that everyone starts going home. But right now, I just want to rock around and look at some of the bikes that have shown up since yesterday. Because I know that that's what you guys come to my channel for. You guys like to see bikes, bike things. So we're going to go do some bike things. Go look at some cool bikes. This one definitely stands out from the crowd. Shaylisi Sportster. Honestly, did not think I'd be seeing this thing in person anytime soon. Her homemade points cover. Loaded up for camping on the little baby bike. <laughs> she sees a little Honda. That's biker babe, Beth's bike. Pretty big bike for a little girl. 
Sunday and it is officially over. The Forgotten Angels camp out is officially over. No tents behind me. Everybody's gone home except for a few scragglers. They do something called the hangover ride or the leftover ride, which is just whatever people are left here on Sunday after the camp out is over. They all go for a ride and then they come back to the campground and they just hang around the fire and they just get a little more opportunity to get to know each other and just chat and um, hang out a little bit. So I decided that that's what I was gonna do today. So we're just getting geared up and we're getting ready to go right away here. So, well, let's go. Keep the picture with the frames for sale. 